Hello, this is Amit from Digital Inspiration and this is a demo of Permissions Auditor, an add-on for Google Sheets that will help you know more about your Google Drive. Now your Google Drive has hundreds and thousands of files and folders. Most of these files are private, that is they are only visible to you, but some of them could be visible to your work colleagues or to your organization, while some files in your drive could be accessible to the outside world, that is they are public. The Permissions Auditor add-on scans every single file in your Google Drive and prepares a detailed report containing the permission levels of every single file in your Google Drive. So you will instantly know who has access to your files in Google Drive as well as what kind of permissions they have on these files. Go to labnol.org slash audit to install the add-on in your Google Sheets. After the add-on is installed, uh, open a new Google Sheet and go to the add-ons menu. You will see a new menu Drive Permissions Auditor, under that select uh, Start to open the auditor. So what this will do is create a template sheet that will contain our permissions report. Now in the sidebar you will notice a little search box. Now your Google Drive will have hundreds and thousands of files and if you process every single file it might take some time. So what we can do is we can limit our searches to particular files. So for instance if I want to select files that are just owned by me, I will use a search query me in owners and start the audit. The add-on is now scanning the drive and it's getting the permissions and sharing access of every single file that matches our search query. Now this process may take some time depending on the size of your Google Drive. So if you close the sheet for some reason or if the process is interrupted, you can just reload the sheet and start the auditor again. It will resume from where it left off. Okay, so the audit for this uh, sample search query is now complete. So let's see what data it has captured in the Google Sheet. So you have the file date, uh, the modified date as well as the date when the file was created. You have the full file name. Now if you click this link, you can actually open the file directly in Google Drive. Then you have the file type, the size of the file. Now this can be handy because Google Drive doesn't allow you to search files by size so you can use this Google Sheet to find the bulky files in your Google Drive and just get rid of them if you are running out of space. The next set of columns include the more critical data that we are looking for. So you get to know the kind of access that others have on this file. Where is the file actually located in Google Drive so you have the full path listed there. And finally, you have a list of email addresses of people who have access to the file. So you have owners, you have editors as well as viewers. So you have all those email addresses listed in the Google spreadsheet as well. So you have seen how easy it is to audit the access and sharing levels of files in your Google Drive. Now I'll show you one more thing and that is how to search your Google Drive for files using the various drive search operators. So if you're looking for files that are owned by you, you set the owners as me. If you are looking for files that contain a particular word in the content, you use the full text operator. Similarly, if you are looking for files that have been modified since a particular date, you use the modified time operator. And finally, if you are only looking for files that are shared with you, you say shared with me and you can use boolean operators as well to combine two or more queries. This is just a partial list of search operators that are supported by Drive Search. You can check the add-on documentation for links to more search operators that you can use in your search queries. I hope you will find the permissions auditor add-on useful. Go to labnol.org slash audit to install the add-on and I am sure it will help you discover some of the files that you may have unknowingly shared with other people. Do visit my website controlq.org and you will find tons of useful Google add-ons and scripts. Thank you.